This is the bushing that I need to put in, and you can see that it is much larger than the hole. This diameter is the same size as that hole. I've seen where some guys have cut them in two and slid them in from both sides and put large washers on. You know, that, that'll that probably work. I'm not sure uh, if that uh, messes up the bushing or anything, uh, but I have looked everywhere trying to figure out how to get this on or get this in here. This has to be pushed in. I have greased these things. I've gone in an angle. I've done everything I could think of. I've seen where guys have put them in a vise, put them in a press. But what I'm going to do is try to put them in a press that is made up of this bolt and these washers. Now, I've already tried this and it didn't work. And I was trying to work this edge down in and get it in an angle. But it kept wanting to cock and in an angle and stuff and it wasn't working. So I'm going to try to uh, put a... Uh, hose clamp around this and squeeze it in. I do not know if it's going to work yet. This is the first one that I'm doing. If it doesn't work, then I'll, then you're not watching this video. If it does work, then uh, evidently it worked. So uh, I'm trying to sandwich this in there like that. I, I think I need to put uh, a little bit of uh, WD-40 or some type of a uh, oil product on there. So let me get this set up and uh, put in here, and then uh, we're gonna turn this shock over and see if we can't get this to uh, go in. I've made uh, put a spacer on the end of my boat so that I'll have more room to tighten it up. Once again, these are energy suspension polyurethane bushings going in a Monroe gas shock, air shock. And I did put some oil sleeve of the shock something's happening we're going to have to remove this hose clamp here so that we can keep going This is the first one that I've done. At this point, it might be able to push it in. And there we go. One bushing in, one more to go. All right, here's a little video of uh, removing a small bushing and sleeve in an air shock to make this shock work on a larger diameter mounting stud. So we need to remove the old shot, O mount. This is gonna be in real time. Uh, it gets gummed up and it won't, don't wanna cut anymore. That's why I'm switching side to side.
Right, that's hot, I don't wanna touch it, but there goes the sleeve out. Now we're gonna push the rubber out and it is hot. It's pretty smoking hot. You do not wanna use these sleeves after they've been drilled on like that. They will not last no time at all. Clean out the rubber. I put in a little bit of oil right here. Still kind of warm. Now to get the new sleeve in. I said real time and I'm, I'm losing the sleeve. Put a little bit of oil on the sleeve. And slide the sleeve on. Where's my nut washer? Slide the sleeve on a bolt. Put a good size washer on. Take up the slack. Put a hose clamp around your energy suspension bushing. Tighten it down. You'll see it collapse. I don't want to get too tight. I may have gotten that too tight. Let me back off of that just a hair. You want that hose clamp to be able to uh, slide. You see the hose clamp moving down, I can feel it. Also, we're gonna back off the hose clamp. I think we pulled the hose clamp in just a little bit. There we go. Once again, this is all in real time. You can see how we've uh, pulled it through. And at this point, you can continue to do it like this, or give it a little push, and it's not going anywhere. I still don't want to hit it with any pressure, like a hammer or a press. But there it goes right there. And just take off your insert tool. Now, if you do these a lot, hang on all your parts. This is now a tool, in case you ever need it again. And there you go. So now you have polyurethane bushings, which are gonna be much better. And uh, you can put a larger stud on. So. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.